And so you adjust that threshold to find the noise floor and that'll actually remove that, that sort of hissing noise in the background. So if I record something, in fact, what I can probably do is let's unplug my interface. It's going to be super highly experimental here, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. So I've unplugged my interface. And now if I go into a voice recording, this should be using, yes, there it is. Just the, uh, and see, I'll, I'll show that input gain. There you go. <laughs> I should have I should have done this before when I was doing the input gain stuff. But you can see there if I go, ah, ba, boo, bit, ba, 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 do, ba, do, ba, that's probably too high. We'll bring it down here. Ba, ba, boo, do, ba, 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 do, ba, do, ba. Yeah, a little bit lower. You want this the, the lines there to be hitting between 50 and 75%. So if I just hit the record button here and we just record something random, so... And we'll stop that. All right, so if I plug back in now, just so that we get some better quality audio so we can hear this back. So I'm plugging my audio interface back in. It'll pop up my, you are monitoring now. Just momentarily, there you go. We'll turn on the monitoring so we can hear this back. And if we come in, we'll go back to our track view. There's my audio, let's hit play. There you go. So the reason I did that big breath there is that this is going to help us demo this plugin really well. So if we come in here, now we go to plugins and EQ. Now we could turn on the noise gate again. So the noise gate will do an okay job. So if we play it back now. And so you adjust that threshold to find the noise floor and that'll actually remove that, that sort of hissing noise in the background. So let's just play around with this. We'll pull it down and then we'll just find the sweet spot. So it's about there. It's about 36 dB. So you can use that. There it goes. But if you notice that it cuts out and then cuts back in, we can do better. So if we turn that one off and instead we add the power, get rid of this effect EQ. No one actually ever knows what that does. And we add in our Nembrini in a... Uh, where is it? Noise gate. This one is going to do a much better job because now we not only have the threshold here, which we can dial around. Uh, let's see if the threshold matches about that 36, but we have a range here as well. So we can either um, cut it down to zero or we can, we can adjust this. I'll show you how it works here when we play this. So here that it's playing, but it's doing nothing because our range is at zero. As we dial the range up, it's going to turn it down. So let's try this. And now see our threshold has come down too low. We need to drive that back a bit. It's cutting off even when it is actually playing. Let's try it again. So it's a constant sort of battle finding the different balance there. But you can hear there that if we change, so we don't want it all the way down here because obviously it'll do nothing. If we put the range up to 100, this is like what the actual built-in noise gate does. So listen now, nothing. But you get that weird thing where it cuts off in between phrases, and this is the power of the Nembrini noise gate, is that we can drive this down, and say we put the range at about 50, right here in the middle, it will just turn down those parts where it's detecting that there's no sound, and then it will let the full range through uh, in the other part. Let's play it. Probably still needs to come down a little bit more on the threshold. Yeah, so you, you just play around with this until you get it. So yeah, still cutting off just a little bit, but you can see what you can do here with this and how powerful it is. If you get, if you've got hissy vocals or audio, got some some of that like guitar amp sound that hum or buzz in your guitar amp, and you want to make sure it's cut off. Now keep in mind, this is doing nothing to the audio when it's actually playing. So if you've got bad quality audio, as I kind of do here, because I'm recording from too far away on my actual built-in mic, then it's not really going to help that. But it is a great tool that if you've got those bits in between and you don't want to have to use automation or you don't want to have to do a bunch of editing, the Nembrini Analog Rack Noise Gate. And I do recommend you go and check out the rest of the range of Nembrini stuff. They make the Crunk V2 amp, which is free, as well as a bunch of paid amps, which are only about $10 each. Really good value. I know Jade has demoed a couple on her channel as well. You get some really good tones. There's the uh, Soundmaster, uh, the 8180, a bunch of cool stuff from Nembrini. So check out the full range of Nembrini uh, plugins over on uh, the App Store. It's very, very cool.